Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning and Sharing. This is the second part of our previous video. If you remember, in our previous video, I had discussed with you the formation and the types of volcanoes. In this video tutorial, I'm going to discuss with you the composition. Composition means the ejecting material, which is coming out a surface through the wind. The structure, structure means the shape of the volcano and its different parts and the states or the stages of volcano. So let's go to the details and see what we have in this. Now let's define the volcanoes, though we have already described the volcano, but it's better to have uh, the definition of volcano. A volcano is a vein or opening in the earth crust from which hot rock ejects. Now it is a, it, it is a passage or the way through which a hot magma or materials coming out the surface. So we call that the volcano and what volcano is particularly the mountain shaped. A volcano Atish Vishan just come kate, a mountain shaped structure hotai, jiske zeri hot magma zamin ke upper arke pohsti hai. It is fueled by magma molten material which has been found in the earth that flows upward in the fissure in the earth crust. Most volcanoes are size of mountains. So if you look at the, you know, structure or, uh, you know, uh, size of the volcanoes, they almost looks like the mountains. Now we'll see what sort of volcanic eruption we have, means when the volcanoes are being erupted, what sorts of material reach the surface. Jab atish fishan fatte hai, to kis kisam ka material zameen pe pohunchta hai. So the substance which ejects through opening are gases, ash, lava and the rock material. So we have a different type of material which is being reaching at the surface of earth through the wind or through the volcanoes. And they are gases, ash, lava and the rock material. So the most common gases or volcanic gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. So the most common gases are Wo volcanic gases, carbon dioxide, hai, sulfur dioxide, hai, or hydrogen sulfide. Small quantities of other volatile elements and compounds also are present, such as hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, hydrogen chloride, and hydrogen fluoride, and the mercury. So you can see here the material which is being coming at the surface through the wind. So we have a lava, we have ash, we have a steam, we have pumice, we have volcanic block, and we have a volcanic bombs. Now, as I discussed with you, one of the material is the volcanic ash. So when it's come to the volcanic ash, what sort of elements we have? So we have a sodium, we have a magnesium, we have a iron, we have a silicon, we have a calcium. We have a aluminum, so these sort of you know, elements, which has been called the volcanic ash. Now, what sort of rock material we have? Jo mene aapko pehle bataya ke ek rock materials bhi hota hai. Usme we have a volcanic ash, we have a lapilli, uh, we have a volcanic bombs. You can see here uh, the small stones, and we we have a volcanic blocks. They are bigger than the smaller stones. So. This material is being called the pyroclastic material or tephra. Now we'll see how much the land area of earth is being made by the volcanoes. Because volcanoes play a very important role in making our earth. Means most of the land area is being made by the volcanic eruption. So we'll see here. More than 80% of Earth's surface above and below sea level is of volcanic origin. So it's very important that 80% of land area, our Earth's surface means, is being formed of the volcanic eruption. And you know, volcanic eruption are regular being erupted from you know many centuries, thousands of centuries. So the gaseous emissions from volcanic 
veins over hundreds of millions of years form the as earliest ocean site atmosphere to jo shuru shuru mein jab aatish vishan jaise jaise phata to usne hamare zameen ko banna shuru banana shuru kiya aur aur hamare jo oceans hain aur hamara jo atmosphere wo ban atmosphere wo banna shuru ho gaya which supply the ingredient vital to evolve and sustain the life to aista aista zindagi bhi zameen pe aayi if you remember our earth came into being 4.5 फाइव बिलियन ईयर्स को बट लाइफ केम आफ्टर वर्ड्स यानी कि जमीन पर जो जिंदगी बाद में आई तो आज आया था जब जब जमीन ठंडी होती गई और वो जो गैसेस विच वर विच वर दपोर्टिव फॉर द फॉर द लाइफ फॉर द सस्टेनेंस ऑफ लाइफ दे केम आफ्टर वर्ड्स तो आप कह सकते हैं कि जैसे जैसे वालकनिक इरप्शन भी हुई उस वालकनिक इरप्शन की वजह से हमारा एक खास एटमॉस्फेयर बना या वो गोसेस हमारे एटमॉस्फेयर का हिस्सा बनी सो ओवर ओवर जियोलॉजिक जियोलॉजिक काउंटलेस वालकनिक इरप्शन हैव प्रोड्यूस माउंटेन्स प्लेटूस एंड प्लैंड विच सब्सिक्वेंटली इरोडेड एंड वेदर इन टू मेजेस्टिक लैंडस्केप इन फॉर्म दर्टाइल अच्छा ये जो वालकिन थे ये जब फटे तो उन्होंने मुख्तलिफ स्ट्रक्चर्स बनाए फिर अलग किस्म के प्रोसेस जैसे वेदरिंग हुई जेनोडेशन हुआ तो फिर बाद में जो है ना हमारे जो लैंडस्केप है वो रीशेप्ड हुए और या उसके बाद फिर सॉइल्स बना तो आसर ये एक अलग प्रोसेस है हम कोशिश करेंगे कि इसके लिए एक अलग वीडियो बनाए नाउ वील टॉक अबाउट दी वॉल्किनिक स्ट्रक्चर के हमारा जो वॉल्किन हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक and what sort of parts it has it has a different parts and they have a different meanings those ki mera so if you come at the bottom so this place is is called or uh, this part is called the magma chamber so th this from through this way the magma start to come upward so we call this the magma chamber then we have a conduit and this place uh, above the magma chamber where we uh, this is called the rock layer of the earth crust so this is earth crust and magma coming inside of earth crust uh, when magma start to spread this is called the sill and this is also called the lava flows and this particular place from where from which the uh, the magma read the surface through the wind we call the crater usko crater kehte hain ya isko opening kehte hain ya mouth ke jo bhi aap usko kahe so this is the wind through which is been coming and the material which is been in the air it is been called the ash cloud so and then ash is been falling down so we call the ash fall so this is the particular structure of the volcano now we'll talk about the volcanic states there are different states or stages of volcano so volcanoes are often described as active dormant or extinct so there are three stages or three states of volcanoes number one is active number second is dormant and number third is extinct now what does mean by the active states of the volcano an active states of volcanoes is one that is erupted in some way relatively recently likely within the last few hundreds or few thousand years means active state of volcano is that that means those volcanoes are been regularly erupting and there is also been chances that that they will be erupt in the future also so jo active volcano hum unko kehte hain jo regular erupt hote hain gaye ba gaye with the time they have been erupting a dormant volcano is one that hasn't erupted for some time perhaps several hundred or thousand year but is still but is still is considered likely be erupting sometime in the future means a dormant dormant such as like a sleeping position means those volcanoes which are been in sleeping position they erupted in the past but there are chances they will be erupted in the future also so at the moment they are inactive they are dormant or they are been sleeping position but uh, it is likely that, that they will be erupted ke abhi wo soye hue hain they are normal position mein hain normal position mein magar wo kabhi bhi future mein uh, erupt ho sakte hain 
and the extinct number loss extinct volcanoes are ones that are considered incapable of in erupting means these extinct uh, volcanoes are now almost dead there is no chance that they will be erupted in the future so we call that extinct volcanoes yeah dead volcanoes i will see that which are the active volcanoes around the world so uh, there's a very long list uh, though i have brought for you the few you know active volcanoes which are being around the world so you can see here in this uh, map that they are almost everywhere in all corners are all direction of the world and they are being uh, you know uh, erupting regulate so vatican d if you go and the mount itna so you can see here the barren islands which has been the region of andaman and, and, and the nicobar islands they are in india so the barren islands of india they are with active volcanoes then we are Arata Ili which is in the region of Ethiopia in the, and we have Vatican D Figo, which is in Central America, Guatemala. We have a Heard Islands and McDonald Islands, which are in Antarctic in Australia. We, we have a Claw in USA, Hawaiian Islands, which are in Hawaii. So we have a, lots of you know, volcanoes which are still being active and they are being producing different sorts of even the land form on the surface of earth so it was all about the uh, volcanoes structure uh, the material which is coming at the surface of earth so if you uh, like my videos please subscribe and also share with your friends so you will have a very quick notification of my new videos till then